Good morning and welcome to a day in the life of an urban immersion fellow. Right now, I'm gonna give you all the behind the scenes, the step-by-step -step process, and some of the things that we do on a daily basis, helping some of the students of Detroit and other communities with the urban immersion program. Stay tuned for more. So the first thing I would like to note is that as a book nook tutor, which is a part of the urban immersion program, you'll see a little later, um, is that we have different roles. So it currently is 832. The program starts at 9 a.m. What I have to do as a lead is start the Zoom link, get it up and ready, and then get the people going. So once the other staff members come, they'll be all set and ready to go. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, so as you can see, I got the book nook link up and ready. Click that start button. Once you get it loaded up, get that joint audio, and now we wait for the, our remaining members. All right, so this is like the survival guy right here. As we approach nine o'clock, it's about 8.45. What you wanna do is get you a snack, granola bars, and have some type of beverage. So I got water to keep me hydrated and going throughout the day because trust me, it's gonna be a long day. But it's gonna be productive and it's gonna be fun, and it's always great helping and giving back to those. So. Stay tuned for at least a little bit more information. And next time you see us, the people will be here. So, all right. So, the whole crew is here, minus one. Sarah had to go on a camping trip, but it's 855, so I'm gonna show you them right now. All right, so as y'all can see, the whole staff is here, minus Sarah. Can't forget her. But, uh, Carol, what you like to say about Book Nook? How's your experience so far? I would like to say Book Nook has been one of the most rewarding experiences I've had as a student and as a teacher. Uh, it's definitely rewarding for us and as it is for the students. I've heard from plenty of students and parents through the summer saying that Book Nook is one of the best things they've done for their kids and they will be back next summer. So Ooh. keep up the great work. I've seen reviews from Miss Kara herself. And Hannah, what do you have to say about Book Nook? How's your experience so far? Yeah, Book Nook has been such a great experience and has been super positive in my teaching going into the internship. I feel more confident teaching um, small literacy groups and I feel like I've made some great connections with my students and I just love working with them and learning about their weekends, how their week's going, just meeting with them and seeing their growth and progress mm. every day and their smiling faces so much fun that's part of my day all right hey. cool so like i mentioned it is tuesday so this is our makeup day y'all see the time it's 901 so we're not gonna have any students today but students will be coming again thank you to miss kara hannah kennedy our esteemed president <clears throat> i didn't say that you can edit that out and sarah who is away in cali so thank y'all stay tuned for more as you heard this program and this experience is very rewarding, very worthwhile, and this is the reason why, you know, we love to come to work every morning and, and help out the kids. So this work is very essential, it's necessary, and we're gonna continue to do it and pay it forward. That's all we gotta do. So again, stay tuned. Um, these next couple steps is just getting them set up and some more technical things. So we'll get to that a little long, a little later down the line. 45, um, each session that we have for the day, I think we have like five or six um, that we actually run is 45 minutes. So we'll go from nine to 9.45, 10 to 10.45, et cetera, et cetera. So we do that and we continue to work in with our individual kids. So we have students, we have two or three or just one in some sessions. And now, like I said, it's 9.45, so Hannah just came back from her makeup session because it's Tuesday. So now we're gonna come back and we're gonna start over. And once it comes to like 9.50, the 10 minute mark, that's when students starts to show up. So that's a little tidbit and added information about what times Book Nook runs and when the students come and when they leave. So, boom. All right, here's, here's the background for this. And we're gonna do this right now, getting them set up and getting them good, so. Cool, sounds good, so. Here we go. So you ready for your first session of the day? Here we go, let's get it started, so. Ooh, so, facing bullying. Let's do this one. So go ahead and rate how you're feeling right now. Good. 
All right, so we're going to introduce some new words, and they're important because they're in today's book. So go ahead and read these three words on the screen. Avoid. Right now, we're going through the Exclude. process Exclude. of a book next session without showing Nathan, but he's going to do really good. And it's going to be really good. Good, Nathan. Exactly. So go ahead and type these words in and get her done and you'll be all set so yeah so i guess the first thing you do in a book next session is you introduce your kid you get them signed up you get them signed into the theme and then after you do that you get them situated you'll do these uh read out the words that are going to be in today's book if that's the higher up level if you're a lower level it's more phonics and um, basic foundational things but like I said this is the first part of the book nook session so I'm going to come back and after we're done reading the book we'll do some more so here we go first half out the way I lied we're gonna do this more and he's asking me questions right now kids are so fun it's so cool okay so read that title off for me one more time Nathan Facing bullies. Facing, facing bullies. changes. Good. All right. Let's skip the table of contents. Wait, 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 wait. I was going to... Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, we'll go back. Just All right. I'll get it. We'll be back. One second. So, you just finished reading the book, and now I'm going to go through the next steps of this. So, let's see. Nathan, where are you going? Oh. One second. He's back and he's ready this time. Let's see what we'll do. So again, this is after the book reading. So all right, Nathan, here we go. So you know what the questions are. Did you like the book? Yep. All right, all right. what did you learn? I learned from the book. Mm -hmm. Really? Not the book. The next step, reading the book. All right, Nathan, go ahead and Rate the book. Then you got two more activities. Feed the animals, recap, and then you got the comprehension and you're all good. Now he's on his last session right here. What are we gonna do it? Nathan, focus. You got the last four comprehension questions, dude. So you gotta reel them back in at times. And then do it and then they will follow suit. But like I said, as you can see, the book next sessions and being a part of this urban immersion thing is or nothing program is very fun so I'm very it's a joy to work it's at work with these kids and as you see he brings all the energy well, from larvae rangers to talking about how his brother was messing with his stuff to again maintaining the focus and i'm gonna show you his results after he finishes this because i i strongly believe nathan is gonna get all of these questions correct so Let's see, let's check it out. All right, fun fact, he did not get all of them correct, but my next students, I'm gonna see if one of them, his name is Raylan. We're gonna check his scores after this and see how he does. Sessions, we gotta let them know how they did, you know, and well with it, so let's see. So Nathan, you did pretty good today. You read really well per usual. We're gonna come back again for the last session on Thursday because you, this is your last session this Thursday. We're gonna get all of the comprehension questions correct, okay? That is our goal for next time, all right? If you have no more questions, I will see you Thursday. And tell Nate I said bye too. Peace. So yes, that is how a book next session looks. So behind the scenes, background footage on that. And that's it. So I mentioned earlier that I believe Raylan was gonna get them all correct. So let's see how Raylan did. Question time is what it looks like on the screen. And Brayden didn't do too bad either. He got most of them correct. But Raylan got all of them correct. So like I said, I said he was gonna do it and he did it. So shout out to Raylan and shout out to Brayden too. Cause Brayden finished off really well. All right, so after we finished these first couple sessions, um, took you through the first steps. The first half is done. Now it's time for lunch. We go, we get some food. Um, pretty self-explanatory. So we do lunch. We have a couple more sessions. But for the most part, I'm going to see you all at the very end of this video. So, peace. Welcome back. 
And uh, as you can see, Spartan Gear is still on, Spartan Gear is still strong, Spartan's a wheel. We have finished the book next session. I hope you enjoyed the video for today. It's a little lengthy. Um, shout out to everybody. Shout out to the whole team, Cohort 3. Shout out to the Book Nook program. Um, everybody who contributed to this. Uh, Dr. Gunnings, thank you for all your services and your time. Um, we appreciate you. And we are so glad to see what the future has going forward. So, again, salute to everybody. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for tuning in. And I will see y'all next time. Peace.